Well, welcome to Bourbon Riders. And in tonight's first pour, we crack open the Knob Creek Smoked Maple. Now, I have to tell you that it's, it, it kind of sounds like a gimmick, and it probably is, but it, it made me buy it. Uh, I've always liked the, uh, the kind of maple goodness that's in bourbon. In fact, one of my favorite bourbons is the um, Widow Jane Decadence, which is uh, finished in uh, maple syrup barrels, of all things. So when I saw this smoked maple, I thought, well, well okay, I've got to try it. It's not that expensive, and we'll put the price on the screen that I bought it for. And, of course, I did not research it before I bought it, and you should always research your bourbon before you buy it. And according to the website, it says, we blend this bourbon with natural smoked maple flavors for unique smoky sweetness. And this is from knobcreek.com and go to their products page. So I'm not sure if that qualifies as a flavored bourbon or flavored whiskey, because generally I do not buy flavored anything. Uh, I don't mind it being finished in whatever they want to finish it in, but I don't really like them to add flavors to bourbon. So uh, there again, research before you buy but we're going to try it anyways and it might be wonderful and uh, uh, i've tried knob creek before i've not done a knob creek on the channel uh, so this is kind of unusual one to start out with why don't you start out with the knob creek nine rather than that smoked maple shit well i'm a sucker for gimmicks and there you go there's a gimmick so we're going to try it out <laughs> i will tell you though that when I'm going to prepare for the show, I always, you know, take the wrapper off. And the Knob Creek's got a kind of unusual heavy plastic. It's kind of reminds you of Maker's Mark, but not near as engineered because it didn't want to come off easy. And then when I'm um, looking at this, uh, looks like a plastic topper, not a wood topper. And I'm looking at it and going like, oh, what the hell? <laughs> yes. The topper has come off from the cork and without any effort at all. And I was just like, you know, getting ready to do our pop that we always do on the show. And so uh, we'll see if I can actually get this cork out without digging it out of the bottle. But uh, uh, Knob Creek, you could do better than a plastic topper that's obviously you spared the glue while you were at it. And... Uh, uh, so far, I'm not impressed. Hopefully, uh, I'll be reconvinced otherwise. All right, so um, the uh, it's 90 proof. Uh, it says it's a, a small batch smoked maple created for superior taste and smoothness in, I think it's Claremont, Kentucky. So let's see if we can get this thing off without causing a workman's comp injury. So I think I loosed it a little bit. Yeah, it's, it's, I think it's coming now. So let's get that pop coming off. That was a nice pop. If it wasn't for a cheap ass cork. I'm gonna have to glue that back together. We'll do that off camera. Wow. Now that has got some aroma to it. I would have to tell you, uh, I'm kind of getting ahead of myself uh, talking about the aroma, but uh, yeah, that is, that is potent. So let's get some uh, nice gurgling going on here. Not much gurgling. Probably the way I poured it. It's kind of a uh, wide bottle so you really it's kind of hard to handle it that way you have to get it from the sides and you don't get that nice gurgling sound as trying to get to the neck but let's see if I can put that top on because one thing I don't want to do is spill it oh of course the, it's not going back in no wonder it came off that thing is that puppy is tight I think I've got a spare uh, bib and tucker cork that'll fit that bottle nicely. I like a good topper or no topper at all. Just give me a cork or give me a nice wood topper. 
not this plastic cheap shit. But if they put the money in the bourbon, who cares, right? You didn't come from the topper, you came from the bourbon. So let's give it some swirls here and see what kind of uh, pattern we got going on there. That's got some legs. I've been looking more into it. I always hear these reviewers talking about the legs and and it's apparently uh, how much oil is in the uh, bourbon. Uh, you know, uh, to me it was like if you put enough oil in it that it coats the palate, gives you a nice finish. Yeah, I don't really, I don't really need to count the legs on the swirl, but I just thought it's interesting. They said, "Oh, you know, they'll put it down there and they'll wait for the legs. Drink the bourbon. Don't worry about the legs." So let's see what it smells like. Let me tell you, that uh, maple flavoring or whatever they do to it, I'd be interested to know what they do to it. If you know how they make this Knob Creek smoked maple, put it in the comments so everyone else can share it. And they really don't tell you much about it on the uh, website. Other than we blend this bourbon for natural smoked flavors for unique smoky sweetness. Well, that sounds good. Well, time for the proof in the pudding or the proof in the maple. Cheers. I'm looking to see if there's somewhere on this thing that says it's maple candy, not maple bourbon. I don't think I've ever tasted a bourbon that is that sweet. It's delicious. Uh, it's, it's kind of in the area of being possibly too sweet. Uh, but that is, that, I mean, if there's not a category for dessert bourbon, I nominate this to be the first one in that category because that is nothing but dessert. I mean, I've had French toast that isn't as sweet, covered in maple syrup, that isn't as sweet as this bourbon. Oh my God, this stuff is off the chain sweet. If you want something to give to your guests after a steak dinner or something very savory, and you're just sitting down around the fire and say, here, it's like, oh, can I have some brandy? No, no, no brandy, no brandy in this house. We're a bourbon household, but I got something you're gonna like even better than brandy. Knob Creek Smoked Maple. All I need is some pancakes. Pour that shit over it. <laughs> That's a good idea. You could actually use this, because maple syrup is kind of thin anyways, right? You could actually put this on your pancakes. Just don't give it to your kids. You may never get it back if you give it to your kids. That is outrageously delicious. But it doesn't taste like bourbon. Not to me it doesn't. It really tastes more like a liqueur. Uh, whatever they did to it with the flavoring, uh, they jacked up the sweetness. I would have preferred uh, a hint of maple, a hint of smoke, uh, a little bit, uh, maybe a little bit sweeter. That is just crazy. Let's take another sip. You know, I usually go downstairs because my studio is, is upstairs in my house. Yes, in the, I'm sorry in the Bourbon Mansion. The studio is upstairs into the Bourbon Mansion. And after our first pour like this one, I usually will take what's left in the glass, and I've got kind of a healthy pour tonight, wow. And we'll let my wife uh, taste it, and I usually get like, what do you think of this? And you know, she's not a big bourbon fan. She, uh, she likes Buffalo Trace, but in a cocktail, she rarely likes anything neat. I'm going to let her sip this tonight, and I guarantee you this bottle's going to disappear. I will not see it ever again. 
So if you're looking for something that is really crazy sweet, crazy flavor, and it it does taste like a flavored whiskey, I'm sorry, but a good one, flavored bourbon, I'll correct myself. <laughs> now I'm gonna have now that I've done this, I'm gonna have to get the other knob creek because I know the other knob creeks aren't gonna taste like this, because I've tasted knob creek nine. And I'm fine with it, Evan. I'm not a big fan, but it, it's a good bourbon. There's nothing wrong with it. Uh, but now I'm, now they've hooked me in, and maybe that was the whole deal. Hook you in on something super sweet and make you buy the other ones and realize, like, wait, 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 where's the maple sugarness in this? This is flavored. You only get that in the flavored bourbons. So, uh, when we come back, um, I'll give you some final thoughts and my recommendations on this very sweet, mapley good bourbon. Okay, we're back. I contemplated a lot how to rate this smoked maple, this Knob Creek smoked maple. We have a recommendation system that we'll show on our side here. One through five, one being the absolute best, meaning like if you know where it is, stop the video, go to the store and get it right now. It's just that good. Two, where it should be your next purchase. And three, you know, if you get it on sale, we think it's worth buying. Four, borrow it from a friend. We don't really think it's that good. You might want to taste it before you invest your money. And then five, we don't think it's any good. If you get it and it's free, well, there's no loss there, right? We think this is a solid three. Normally, it probably I would have put it <laughs> into a four borrowed from a friend. But I'm telling you right up front, this is super sweet and super mapley. So we hope you like this video and you'll subscribe for more videos like this. And we always have at least one first pour every week, along with bourbon fights, uh, five lists of this and that, and of course, an occasional uh, bourbon hunt. As always, please drink responsibly, never drink and drive, and we'll see you next time. You're not going back on, are you?